The new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC is finally released and along with loads of new story segments in Pokemon, we finally had the biggest question of the competitive scene answered. What is the new Terra type teased in the trailers and what does it do? This is the Stellar Terra type. It functions as a one-time boost to each one of your Pokemon's types of moves and does not change anything defensively. However, it does serve as a counter to terrestrialize Pokemon by always hitting them for super effective damage with Terra Blast. But what Pokemon will run this and will it actually be good? Let's discuss that today. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make tons of competitive Pokemon videos just like this one. But before we get into it, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, so I called this on Twitter last night. The Stellar Terra type is one of the most mid options of all time. And we're going to get into why that is, you know, but if you enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever. I might have said that in the intro already. I usually record a edited intro segment for these videos. Uh, but today we're going to talk about this new mechanic added to the game in the DLC. And apologies if I'm not the most well-spoken person today. Um, I pulled an all-nighter with this DLC. I am completely fried in the brain. But yeah, uh, let's do this. So the Stellar Terra type is likely not going to be used on 99% of Pokemon. It is not this, you know, win button that some people thought it might be. It does not make you every type at once defensively at the very least. It does do it offensively, but limited in a limited capacity. Uh, we'll explain that in a second. Uh, but yeah, the, the Stellar Terra type, it seems, is going to be an extremely niche option that not many Pokemon will even want to consider running. Uh, and the main reason for this is in current competitive Pokemon, Yes, there are Pokemon that do offensively Terra. You can think about um, your Terra Dark King Gambits, your Terra Fairy Fluttermanes, those sorts of things. Um, however, those like offensive Terras do technically offer them a defensive bonus as well. Fluttermane is not going to be hit super, not super effective. It's going to be resisting a uh, Sucker Punch rather than taking uh, a neutral hit from it because it loses its ghost typing. King Gambit is no longer going to get one shot by uh, fighting moves uh, or ground moves because it loses its steel typing. So yeah, it, basically defensive Terra is the name of the game. There are only a few Pokemon that run offensive Terra, um, like Urshifu, Rillaboom occasionally uh, in Fluttermane. But for the most part, you want your Pokemon to defensively Terra. Chen Pao turns into a ghost type to avoid fake out fighting moves. Um, a lot of Pokemon turn into grass types to avoid getting spored uh, or rage powdered and also just to resist water moves, that sort of thing. This Terra type defensively does nothing. You stay your exact same type. If you are in Araquanid and you are running the Stellar Terra type, and you decide to go for it, you stay a water bug type defensively. You're still hit super effective uh, by electric, rock, flying, all of that. Offensively, it's kind of interesting. You can imagine the Stellar Terra type to work like a weapon that has uh, ammo in it. And each one of those rounds is a type. So it's not each one of your moves. So like, let's say you have um, a Porygon Z with Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. When you Stellar Terra type, what the game does is it gives you the offensive boost from terrestrializing into whatever type would get boosted uh, by like whatever move. So like if you know if you terrestrialize into an electric type, you have a 50% boost on your electric moves. It treats every single move that you have, or every single type of move that you have, um, like it gets boosted. So Ice Beam would get boosted, Thunderbolt would get boosted. Hyper Beam would get boosted, but the catch is it only does it once. That's what I meant when it's like it has ammo, right? So there's some feedback for this in the game, and I'll, I'll put it on screen right now. The first time that I used a Terra, uh, a Stellar Terra Blizzard, it shows the effect of it getting boosted. You see like the little ice particles come out. Um, but the second time that I use it, if I had already used, you know, Blizzard in the game, it no longer gets the boost. So it goes from 1.5 to regular to one. So that's that's a really interesting mechanic. And because it works that way, because it is basically a Terra type that benefits Pokemon that run coverage 
and don't want to defensively Terra, I really only see a few Pokemon that you could even fathom running this thing. It seems like it's going to be a really, really either bad or niche mechanic. So, here's the list. The, the solid list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Pokemon that I could imagine running this uh, Terra type. And we'll get into why. So, Porygon Z is a Pokemon with adaptability. Adaptability gives you a 2 times modifier on stab attacks instead of 1.5. It's still not confirmed how this functions with um how this functions with the uh stellar terra type. Like we don't know if it's 2 times on all of these once and then like back to normal. But I can confirm at the very least it does it or it, like it recognizes like the normal move, you know, like Terra Blast or Hyper Beam, I guess, gets boosted uh, like you would expect it to. So Porygon Z, if it does work how we think it does, how you'll get adaptability in each one of these things, um, this is actually a really solid Terra for it. You know, you run a Life Orb Porygon Z, uh, you have a two times boost on your Ice Beam once, you have a two times boost on your Thunderbolt once, you have an absolute nuke of a Hyper Beam because uh, adaptability, I forget how it works, when you tear it into the same type, it's either 2.5 or 2.3. So if you were to like tear a normal and then go for hyper beam because you're already like a normal type, um, it would normally like if you were a normal type tearing into a normal type, normally it would give you a two times boost. Like it's like adaptability. It thinks about it like it has adaptability. But if you actually have adaptability on top of that, I believe it becomes 2.3 or 2.5. I don't quote me on that. I don't remember what the actual multiplier is. So that is like a really strong option that it has. It still has this nuke of a move. Um, but another reason that you would run Porygon Z is because Terra Blast is an 80 base power move and it's typical normal move that isn't Hyper Beam that it runs is 80 base power, it's Tri Attack. Porygon Z typically runs Tri Attack. You can actually run Terra Blast as your normal everyday attacking option. There's no reason not to really. Um, and then when you Terra, it turns into the Stellar Terra, and you still get, like, the boost on it. So, yeah. Um, the next mechanic that I want to talk about when it comes to Terra Blast with this uh, <laughs> with this uh, Terra type is uh, something that's actually really useful, but still not worth giving up the defensive Terra, in my opinion. So, if, you are t if you're going to use Terra Blast with the Stellar Terra type, it is a guaranteed super effective hit against all Terrastalized Pokémon. So if your opponent decides to go for Terra Fairy on their Fluttermane and you hit them with Terra Blast Stellar, they get hit super effective, probably get knocked out. If they go for a Terra Grass, super effective, get knocked out. If they go for a Terra Fire, every every Terra type, if they're Terrastalized, gets hit super effective by it. Otherwise, it's a neutral hit. The downside to hitting a Pokemon super effectively with this Terra Blast is it works like Make It Rain. It drops your attack and special attack. Well, I guess Make It Rain only drops Special Attack, but it drops your attack and Special Attack by one stage if you manage to hit the uh, Terra Pokemon with it. So that's something you need to keep in mind. It's a pretty big downside, in my opinion, because then you, like, don't even want to keep it on the field. Like, you basically have to switch it on and switch it back in. So, yeah, Porygon Z, I think, is the prime example of Pokemon that might actually want to run this. Let's move on to the other Pokemon and why I think they may run it. Offensive Rillaboom runs Terra Grass at the moment with Miracle Seed. There's defensive Rillabooms, there's Terra Poison, Terra Water, Terra Fire. Those exist, and they're very common. Terra Grass is, however, one of the most common Rillabooms right now because of how powerful Grassy Glide gets. I could imagine this thing running the Stellar Terra type over Terra Grass only because it technically only runs one to two Grass moves, and then the rest is purely coverage. And you do actually like the boost on high horsepower. But I'm not going to say that you would run it because you do end up losing the boost in your grass moves after the first use. So it's it's you have a couple of nukes, right? You can boost your grassy glide and then you can boost like a U-turn and you can boost a high horsepower. And all those are like really important. But is it really worth running over Terra Water, Terra Fire, Terra Poison? I don't know or even Terra Grass. Offensively, you might even get outclassed by Terra Grass because Terra Grass can keep the boost on Grassy Glide over and over again where you get a one-time one in exchange for a boost on everything else. So that's an interesting thought. Um, Araquanid could also do this. I think Araquanid will almost always run Terra Water, Mystic Water. 
However, it is possible that you would want to run um, the Rainbow Terra or the Stellar Terra. The main reason being Araquanid's water moves are already nukes, and you'll probably only need to click it once or twice to get a KO on anything, um, especially with, you know, the boost from the initial hit. But where it lacks in power is literally everywhere else. So it's only 70 attack. But what, where it makes up for that low attack stat is its ability water bubble. So the power of its water moves are two times. It can't be burned. The power, firepower against it's halved. So Liquidation's a nuke. It's actually, instead of 85 base power, um, before stab, it's already, what, 170? That's insane, right? Leech Life, however, is only 80 base power. Poison Jab is only 80 base power. Crunch is only 80 base power, and that's coming off of a 70 base attack. So it doesn't hit that hard. You could make the use case for Stellar Terror type with Arachnid because sometimes you want to one-shot a Rillaboom with Leech Life. Sometimes you want to one-shot a Fairy type with Poison Jab, and you're not going to be able to most of the time. However, this 50% boost might actually let you do it, especially if you run like a Life Orb or a Muscle Band or some kind of weird attack boosting item. Next up is Duraldon. Um, but not actually Duraldon, Archaldon. Archaldon just isn't added to Shutdown yet. The reason you would want to do that is because it has this new move called Electra Shot. This is the data mine, by the way. Uh, the user gathers electricity on the first turn, boosting its special attack, then fires a high voltage shot on the next turn. The shot will be fired immediately in rain. So I was thinking for a while, oh, its signature move is Electric, despite it being a Steel Dragon type. So maybe you want to run Terra Electric. And yeah, you can make that case. Um, but I think that the other thing that you might want to run is actually the Stellar Terra type. Because it is a coverage machine and it's, you know, it's move that it wants to click a lot of the time that gives it like that huge boost in power is Electric type and non-stab. If you were to go with this Rainbow Terra type, given the length that VGC matches are, you would probably click, you know, um... What was it called? Electro Shot once, and then Flash Cannon once, and then Draco Meteor once, and then your coverage move once. Just because it's that powerful. So if you were to do that, you could actually make a case for, yeah, I would want to boost these moves one to two times. Um, and I'm or one time. But I would, you know, you'd appreciate consistently getting, you know, the boost off of your other moves. But uh if you're just running like Electro Shot and you want to like make it a nuke. Yeah, like th this is like a really good option for it. You know, you, you can do that. So I actually, I think I'm going to consider Rainbow Terra on Archaladon for that reason. Latios, um, basically only because it's a coverage machine. However, Defensive Terra is probably also very good for Latios. You know, getting a nuke on Draco Meteor and a nuke on Psy Shock or Psychic or whatever. And then still having that option to probably one shot um, a Grass type with Ice Beam or you know, one shot a water type with Life Orb Thunderbolt with the, the Stellar Terra. Yeah. And the final Pokemon I think will actually maybe run this is Porygon 2, which might be a cop-out because Porygon Z is on this list. But Porygon 2, I always figured it would run a defensive Terra, but normal is actually pretty good. I'm pretty sure it'll end up running Poison as its most common Terra. Um, but if you don't know, it's an Eevee Light Pokemon that tends to run the ability Download which boosts its special attack or attacks uh, by one stage, depending on what the opponent's defensive stats are. And then it'll usually run like, you know, like a care, not a careful, a calm nature with some special attack, right? And then mostly be like a defensive Pokemon with recover, uh, trick room. And then the last two moves depend. Sometimes you'll run try attack and eerie impulse. And that set would not run rainbow Terra. But the other set is Bolt Beam. So you would run Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. And with Download, already giving you a 50% boost off a of special attack sometimes, that could be worth it. Some might not even run... Um, some might not even run Trick Room. Like some might actually just want to be like Recover, Try, Attack, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. If this is a good enough option. So yeah, Stellar Terra might actually be a decent uh, pick for Porygon 2. But yeah, I went through this list, man. I went through this list and there really isn't like any other Pokemon I could see that would want to run Stellar Terra. Even if they had coverage options, you get so much out of just the defensive benefit of a Terra or the consistent offensive benefit of choosing one type. Like, yeah, no, I was scrolling for a minute. 
Um, let's see if I can find one more. I'm going to make it a challenge real quick. I'm going to find one more Pokemon that might want to run this. Da, 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 da. Milotic? No, it just runs defensive sets with like Ice Beam and Scald and stuff. Or Icy Wind and Scald. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not going to find anything else. Th this, this Terra is very niche. And I would really... I... <sighs> A lot of people were saying like we're making a lot of predictions about Regulation F despite not knowing how the Rainbow Terra works. They were saying this like last week, right? Like for all we know, it could flip the game on its head. Um, I'm going to say the Rainbow Terra, Stellar Terra, hardly exists. It's hardly going to matter. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, and yeah, be sure to follow. We'll be doing moveset guides probably starting tomorrow. Um, I'm planning on starting with our child on, but this weekend I am traveling to San Antonio for the regional, so I'm going to be very, very tired and stressed, but yeah. Anyways, have a nice one. See you in the next one. Bye.